about that how's about that there we go well i've been doing all that talking and none of y'all heard a damn word i said well that sucks okay so what i was saying was that um this is one of my favorite final fantasies i really like it um pro streamer here post we i post we i suck at streaming it is it's fine it is what it is um but yeah this is one of my favorite final fantasies ever 
Um, I want, that's why I like playing these because I like to share the games that I love that I grew up with my childhood. I want to share them with y'all so y'all can experience them and kind of learn kind of where I got my chops when it comes to video gaming, right? So that that's kind of my thought process behind um, playing these kind of retro games for y'all. Just try, kind of trying to show you guys where I came from and whatnot and how um, it affected me and made me what I am as far as with my video game repertoire and what I like to play. Um, do not ever feel like, you know, where was I going with that? I was going off on a tangent and now my train got derailed. Overlord 4 Episode 3 and Denmachi in the coming weeks. Yeah, no, that's great. Um, I am... I'm almost done with season three. That is pretty good acting, King. I can't wait to catch up on Overlord. I'm almost done with season three of uh, Date A Live, and then I'll start on season four. And then once season four hits, um, and I finish that, then I'll go back to Overlord season one, right? And start from the beginning so I can make sure I'm 100% know what the hell's going on. So I don't just start Overlord season three and go, uh, what are we doing again? You know? Really? Come here, Mills. No, Millie. Come here, Millie. Hi, sweetie. I don't know. I wish I could put a... No, no, no. Come here. Oh, you're getting so heavy and chunky. Oh, you're getting so big. You're getting to be a big girl. Hi. Hi. Hi, baby. I love you. Come on, let me put that back in my ear. Yeah, no, doing that with Dan, with Dan Machi. Uh, yes, 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 yes. I finished season one a while ago. I just started season two. I need to restart season two again. That's the one where they get in trouble with the Apollo family, and I'm, I'm like, eh. Hi, Millie. Hi, baby. I love you. Look at this Millie. Look at this pretty Millie. Hi, baby. Boop. I booped the snoot. Hi, baby girl. Yes, you're a good kitty. It's okay, I'll put you down. Come on. Come on. There you go, big girl. Thank you. Thank you for showing off. Thank you for being here, Millie. Okay, it's only the first three episodes. Okay, yeah, see, I couldn't remember. And I was kind of like, eh. I know. The thing that kind of gets me about Dan Machi is that everybody hates Hesty when she is good girl. Like, she is, she's nice. She's caring. I don't know why everybody hates Hestia and all the other gods and goddesses really... Well, not all of them, but a lot of them don't like her. Like, I don't, I don't get it. What's there not to like about Hestia? Like, she nice girl. Haruhime's release is the main one that follows the capture of the busty annoyance Hestia. I mean, I actually like Hesty. I think her, her her character is a good character, right? I actually kind of like the premise of Dan Mashi, you know, as far as the uh, damn it, cat fur now is everywhere. Of course, it doesn't help that I've got places where she dug her claws in before I trimmed them last night. Yeah, I trimmed her claws. I got sick of it. Oh, you got the mousy. Oh, you're walking around with it in your mouth. It's so cute. I have these little mice toys. They're just tiny little mice, and she loves them. And it's easy one when she begs the blacksmith goddess blatantly says, Hestia is a lazy slob. Only got better after she was made to find her familia. I mean, yes and no, right? I don't... I really wouldn't say she's lazy, because it doesn't look like she's lazy. Um, everything I've seen at Hestia is that she's extremely hardworking. Um, that since she came down from heaven. Because she's just trying to survive because she has no familia, right? Because nobody wants to be um, part of her familia at all. But I don't know why nobody wanted to be part of her familia. That, I, I, it never says why nobody wants to be and why she was having so much trouble. Because, I mean, Hephaestus is Smith, so Hephaestus, of course, has people, you know? Um, Loki, of course, is Loki, the trickster god, so, you know, she does whatever the hell she wants. Is her overly controlling behavior to monopolize the spell? Well, okay, well, okay, so yes. But that can be said for a lot of, uh, animes kind of with the same kind of trope in them, right? 
is that there's one kind of overly controlling and she i wouldn't say she's necessarily controlling she's more worried right and try and she does try to monopolize him though like that that is definite she does try to monopolize him because she really i think she actually really loves him um but that kind of stems i think from who bell is his personality and also what he uh who his father is I'm sorry, grandfather. We know exactly who his grandfather is. Right? Because that was that was uh that was given in the end of season one. We know exactly who her grandfather who his grandfather is. So, you know, that's pretty obvious. Um as to who he is and whatnot. Um Oh, okay, so yeah, that's why, yeah. <laughs> no, like, I, okay, so I get that, and that would be understandable, right? Uh, that they can't hold hands after they are doing so because they actually picked up panties from the laundry basket to help. I mean, not really, okay, so not really controlling. What I mean by, what I think by controlling is, is like, you can't go here, you can't do that, you can't do this. Like, if she was really controlling, she wouldn't let him go to the dungeon at all. She would just stay here, like, no, you're going with me wherever I go, or you stay at home all the time. Like, that's what she would be if she was really controlling. But she's not that controlling. Alright, let's go and continue on and go back to the earth. Ugh. Sorry if I'm yawning a lot. I literally did not sleep last night. I'm really tired. I did not sleep last night. My my knee pain kept me up all night. So there's a rule where the human picks their family, so she has to let him go to the dungeon. Ah, the tower! We are too late. What do you mean, too late? The giant of Babel will come forth. Well, yeah, uh, like, I... I haven't reached the part where Lily actually joins yet. I'm, it, she's close. And there's the giant of Babel wreaking havoc. It is here. Oh no! Oh no! Giant of Babel wreaking destruction on a global scale. Yeah, no, you probably have, but it's okay, man. It's all right. It does look good. Uh, like, I want to. I have my SNES, so I want to hook it up with a HD capture card and play, uh, and play the original, so you can see the difference, right? No. Damn it. Damn it. Is there nothing we can do? What's that? <laughs> it does look good. I like this game. This game's fun. I'm really proud of the way they've done this. Dwarven tanks ready to fire. We will fight alongside you for the planet. Lally ho! I forget what voice I was doing for King Giyad. I could not lie in bed and leave the responsibility of fighting to my friends. Go tanks, go! Oh, excuse me. The Red Wings! I mean, yeah, but she's like almost yander with how much she really is obsessed with him, right? It's borderline psychotic. Um, you can relax now with my help. This will be a cinch. All engines to full power. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Hey, all miss me. The Elder restored us. You should not fight this battle alone. We mu all must fight for the sake of our survival. Oh, I will fight with you, Cecil, with the courage you have given me. Oh. Boom, 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 boom. Fight the giant. Fight the giant. We didn't start the fire. <laughs> Thank you. The giant looks confused. 
Now is our chance to enter the Giant of Babel. I get it. We're going for the core. It's hot. Sid! Take us there, young man. Well, of course she does, because that's what she does. She... Approach its mouth. Who's he? Fusoya, a Lunarian. He's a Lunarian? Can you do this or not, old man? Ah, uh, keep your beard on. There's nothing I can't do. Yeehaw! Daughter. Daughter. I have daughter. Child of mine. Firstborn. Offspring. What you do? What you do, child of mine? Are you leaving me? To go hang out with your friends? Oh yay! Yay! There's a Millie right there by your footsies. You must give her the pets. Cause she is fluffy. I know there's a yacht right here. There's a muffin. I know it's a muffin. I know she'll make her way up here. Yes, she does, because she is a chubby muffin. I love you, daughter. Have fun. Be safe. I'll see you when you get home. Love you, daughter. Okay, bye. Buh bye now. Buh bye. Oh, man. Now, hang on. No, yeah, I get you really don't like Hestia. I mean, I, that's uh, that's plain, but... It just, so... I find her slightly annoying, but not that annoying. I actually... Honestly, I actually find Sundere... Sundere um, personalities really freaking annoying. Like, super annoying. Like, just shut up and be honest with me, damn it. Like, stop beating around the bush. Don't beat around the bush. Be honest. Um, you, sir, are going to do some Thundar as well. Uh, and Yanders are kind of fun, but they're, like, super crazy. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Oh, no, they are. Like, I don't really mind Hestia that much. I don't. I find it slightly endearing. May, uh, very overbearing, borderline psychotic. Um, but honestly, I think that's because his level of kindness that he shows, not just her, but everybody, is somehow super, like, she really, really likes it. I don't know what how it was like for her up in the godly realm, but holy crap, evidently she would get shat on all the time up in the godly realm. Like, that's the only thing I can think of as to why, like, everybody hates her and the fact that a human showed her such blind kindness that she just could not fathom it and just fell head over heels in love to the point that is obsession. Um, as assumed would be worse. Because holy crap. Well, no, maybe, maybe not, right? And I will say that because I would like to kind of see it to be able to judge it. Ah, so one of the three virgin goddesses. Okay, hi Muffin, welcome. Muffin. Hi baby, come on. Yep, that's a tail. No, you can't drink my water. Oh, chunky baby. Mm -hmm. I love you Muffin. Oh, can everybody hear the purring? <laughs> you guys are getting purring. Oh, honey, I love you so much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm streaming and not playing with you. I'll play with you afterwards for a little bit, okay? Okay, honey. Yeah, you're gonna be a good kitty. Oh, come on, baby. There you go. Thank you. Oh, no, I got cat for all in my face. 
Okay. Uh, okay, so, th like, there's a literal... Oh, right, you are with a virgin goddess joke in Season 2. Oh, okay, cool. So, yeah, I'll have to catch that. All right, let's move through the Giant of Babel. This area, I used to find it very difficult. So, I'm going to see how difficult it is before I continue on. I'm kind of going on autopilot, not really telling everybody what I'm doing as far as spells and stuff, but you can kind of see what I'm doing. Um... I'm using a lot of... Oh, I need to fix his stuff. I'm using a lot of, um... Thunder, because they're metal, right? They're robots, so I think they're... Oh, nice, you got your T9 Battlecruisers for the German... Nice! Congrats, man. Yeah, I have not played, um, ships in a while. So, as you can see, I've been playing a lot of Gas Station Simulator. Because for some reason, I find that super awesome. Muffin! Oh, you're in the box. Okay, that's fine. She's in the box behind me. Oh, you guys can see her in the box! Muffin's in the box! That's cute. I love the muffin. She is so beautiful. You see here in the box, being a being a cat. You like the box muffin? She says yes. She loves the box. All right, let's get some thunder going on these metal things. I'm trying to somewhat conserve my MP, so I'm doing a lot of thundaras. Oh, is he confused? It's confused. Hell yeah, it was confused. Oh, British Battle Cruise is coming cool. All right, let's see here. We're going to continue on because I think I'm going to do okay. Neck of the giant. We were in the mouth and the neck. Now we're in the chest. The chesty. My chest. My bloody chest. My outfit. Oh, what's the juggernaut, bitch? Yeah. All right, let's do some more lightning. Uh, let's do... I need to fix his thing. Scan. Okay, where are you weak against? None. Okay, great. Yeah, Thunder's not really doing a whole lot. They changed this. They used to be weak to Thunder. <laughs> yeah, I'm the Juggernaut! Oh, hold on. I got it. There you go. I I got you. I allowed it. Oh, I'm the juggernaut, bitch. Yeah! You ready? You ready? You ready? <laughs> oh, I should have said that line when the, uh, the, the, the Babel giant came down. The giant of Babel came down. Oh, man. That was perfect time for it when it appears. Well, I'm the juggernaut, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> you can't harm me. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, the My Way parodies were fantastic in the early 2000s. They were amazing. Uh, Black Magic, sir. Let's get some Blizzard on there. Black Magic. Thundar on you. Oh, Edge needs some healing because he is about to die. That's okay. We'll do some attacking for Edge and Cecil because they're my strongest attackers right now. Because that... Damn. Oh, she's still playing in the box. Okay. I was like, what the hell is that sound? She's in the box. Playing with the box because she loves the box. But other than that, man, how is your day going, Active King? How are you? I am okay. My knees hurt like hell. And my back hurts like hell. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to be streaming the full two hours tonight. I might cut it a little early, depending on how the story ends up and where we hit. Um, uh, and that's going to be because 
It's Friday night, so I typically game with the boys uh, on the West Coast. Bathroom day? Ah. Yeah, I gotta clean my house. I need to. Wow, okay, we are not doing a lot of damage to this thing. Oh, shoot, he's hurt. Okay. You get that, you that. Cecil's going to attack. Thundara on that. Honestly, I could go with the threes. Let's do the threes. Magnetic radiation. Oh, she stopped. Wow. Okay. Um, would dispel work? I think that'll work. There we go. The threes got it. Boom. Rydia leveled up. Level up. Power up. Rise from your grave and rescue my daughter. If any of y'all ever played Altered Beast, there you go. Yoichi, yo, Yoichi Arrow. Yoichi, yo, Yoichi, Yoichi Arrow. Bruh. Oh, there we go. So we've got a fancy ass arrow now. Alright, so I'm not going to play around with everybody anymore. We're going to hit with, with some Blitz. And we're going to summon Rama. You shall attack. Um, you're going to cure everybody. You, sir, are Thundaga for everybody. Itchy, itchy. Itchy, itchy. Cure, 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 cure. Yay! All right, Edge. Let's have you attack. You're saying you do a butt ton of damage. That's good. Bolt of Judgment. I do like how good they did the summons. Right? No, go ahead, man. Go ahead and start Dan, Machi, Dan Machi's rewatch now. That way you'll be up to date. It's what, next week? Or the week after? Like, I, I'm not sure which one. Uh, let's go. Let's do Firaga on you. And, oh! He is almost out of MP. Osmos, please. Booyah! Okay, Sufu Soya has not... A week from tomorrow. Okay, 22 to 23rd. Okay, okay, cool. Alright, the 23rd. Okay, then. Siren. I don't need a siren. I mean, I'll need them later on. Stomach of the Giant. We're in its stomach. Ew, it's in its stomach. Ew. Alert! Alert. 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 Cuter! Thundaga on that. Black magic. Osmos. No. Osmos. No. Damn it. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, man. Thank you for being here, though. Thank you for your luck. Enjoy it. Uh, I will see you later in the show. Yes, yes, yes. It will be awesome. Because everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Oh, he took all hers. Got it. How's most that? That's right. So he has most all of Rydia's MP. Come on, Rydia. One. Bull. Thank you. Ooh. Rydia and, or Rosa and Cecil gained a level. Yay. Okay, I need to give Rydia some MP because I am sucking wind here. Okay, that should be enough. And then we'll use Osmos on everything. And we'll drain. Okay, so I need to go up this way. Because there is a chesty chesty. Ooh, a silver apple. Ooh, a silver apple. I wonder what that does. Um, Kira, you, Fusoya, Black Magic, Osmos, the dude, Black Magic, Thundaga, the giant. 
and Cura Edge. I'm gonna do pinpoint curing. Oh man. I don't think he has any MP. I think that's why. I think that is why. It doesn't have any MP. Um, let's see. Osmos, you. Oh, let's do scan. Let's take a look see. Okay. No, nope, no MP. That's why I'm only pulling one. Okay. Huh. So I'd have to find something that's like a mage. Edge. Thank you, Edge. You need the levels. You take hits like a bitch. Oh, nope. Right. Oh, this again. Okay. Okay. Um, let's do Shiva. Right. You, sir. Um, you attack. Black magic. Uh, let's do the saga, shall we? Go for it, Shiva! Freeze everything! I mean, that's not bad, Shiva. I'll take it. Oof. Fusoya taking hits. There we go. We're okay, honestly. Yep. Ooh, Fuso, you got another level. Hell yeah. Nice. His MP doesn't go up, but his HP does, and that's better. Or that's nice, because we get some survivability out of that. Items. Sort. Items first. Use. Okay, what do we got? Increases maximum HP by 50. Rydia, please. Maximum MP by 10. Um... That's gonna have to be Edge. Right? That's gotta be Edge, because his MP is so low. I mean, we don't really use a lot with him, but still. Like, the the, the two spellcasters will have a lot of MP, period. That's just... That's how it goes, right? That is how it goes. Um, black magic. Let's try bioing everybody. That's not bad. I mean, if I'm being honest, that's not bad. I'll take it. I will take it. Nice. Alright, good experience gain there. I mean, it is difficult in here. It is. I'm not gonna lie. Inner Path of the Giant. Looks like we might hit a save point here soon. Which, good, we need it. Because I was dumb and I said, Hey, Brittany, I'm gonna steal all your crap. Um. Bio. Wait, I wonder if Quake would work. Honestly. Um. Let's do Flood. Oh, he's confused. Okay. Alright, I mean, I'll take that. Um, eh, it's okay. Let's do Quake. Let's cure everybody. Bro! Hidden gem! Freaking Quake, it, it is! Shit. Oh. Okay, um... Ether her, please. Um, regen. Hell yes, regen, please. Uh, let's do... Shell everybody. Um, let's hit your butt with some Faraga, right? Let's see if we can steal from you. Stole Siren, alright. Okay, let's go with Blizzaga then. Do some protect as well, just because I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, 
Okay, I'll take that. Oh. Okay, well that was kind of easy. I expected a harder fight, honestly. An elixir? I mean, yes, I like elixirs, but damn, come on. I thought it was going to be some weapons or armor. Naming way! Okay, let's let's kick some ass. Quake everybody. Um, what are we doing? Let's see. Kira. Attack. Black magic. Fira, honestly. Because that's going to hurt. Told you. That's, I mean, it's a little bit, but it's, it's HP. That's honestly what it is. It doesn't heal enough, but it's something. Um, damn it, that's most you. Cura you, attack, attack. Black magic. There we go. Ready to learn flare, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Custom. Flare. Right by stop. Okay, let's go with Fusoya. Custom. Protect, shell, reflect. Float. Dispel. Hmm. Okay, we'll do this. Scan, we'll go up there, right? Hasten slow, hold. Silence, confuse, holy mini. Holy actually needs to go there. Right? Silence, berserk. Let's go blink, confuse, teleport, silence. There we go. I like that. All right, what about you, sir? Welcome, what can I do for you? Oh, you can sell me stuff. Yes, thank you. Okay. Arctic wind, okay, okay, okay. Um, I think we're fine with the Phoenix Downs. We're okay on cottages. Let's get some more of these bad boys. Item. A cottage. We're going to use a cottage. We're going to use a little cottage. Alright, we're going to save this. Um, what are we looking like stats-wise? Let's have the three in the center gain another level. So we're going to do some fighting for a little bit. I know it's kind of boring. I'm sorry, but I need to grind this out a little bit. And the re is the reason why I need to grind it, grind it out. To ensure that I can kick some butt. Right? That's the whole purpose. To ensure we kick butt when we grind it out. I grind it out. Grind it out. Yeah. I'm grinding, grinding, grinding. And two quakes. Booyah. He can't have much left. Let's scan just to make sure. Oh, yeah, he's pretty good. I think we'll kill him. There it is. Hi, Millie. Boom. Right there. Almost another level. Okay. We can do two more battles. Get Fusoya another level as well. Because he needs it, honestly. Fusoya's HP sucks. And it's pretty dangerous where he's at. Uh, let's try Summon Titan and see how that goes. And then we shall get um, some Quake from Fusoya. Nice. Boom. And that one's down. Titan. Yeah. Gaius Wrath, baby. 
That was a good one. I mean, yeah, we're not doing too bad with this. We're, th there we go. There we go. It's down. It's down. There we go. Nice. Edge is up. Rose is up. Cecil's up. Okay, one more. Fufusoya. Let's get him his next level. And that will definitely help us on the, uh, the upcoming. What's happening soon. Because I, if I remember correctly, it is not going to be fun. Quakey, quakey. There we go. Death. All right. And heals. Thank you, Rosa. Boom. There we go. Nice. Nice. There we go. One nine six three. That is good. That is good. Thank you. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's hit another cottage, right? Do 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 do. Hi, babies. Millie. Millie. <laughs> Millie's down here by my feet, and she's super cute. Super cute. All right, we have saved. Let's go for it. All right, boom. Stairwell of the giant. Shite. Okay. Can we run? Yeah, let's let's run. There's a reason why I did that. Because of this. You've come at last. You cannot stop the giant of Babel. <laughs> now is the time. For the death of you all. The elemental lords. Indeed. Indeed. Master Zemus blessed us with a second life. Prepare to die. I shall enjoy fighting you again. You have taught us of the power that comes from joining forces. That is what we will do. Now, allow me to restore your strength. Yay! This time, we shall prevail. Newsflash, no you won't. I mean, just saying. Uh, white magic, protect. White magic, shell. Nice. Go, Ifrit. Nice. Damn. Ifrit, my man. My main man. That was some hefty, hefty damage. Let's scan you. Oh, she's cursed. Oh, no effect. Okay. All right. So let's go with... Nope. Asuna. Bruh. Okay, that one's dead. Now I need thunder. Thunder! There we go. Uh, attack you, sir. Attack you, sir. Black, nope. Summon... Rema and Thundaga, please. And you attack it, sir. And you same with you, Cecil. Now we've defeated Scarmiglion. Now we're going on to Kignazo. There we go. That's good stuff. Booyah, quad nine. Okay, now Barbarissa the of air. And I don't have anybody to freaking uh If it's air, let's go with the Mist Dragon, right? Um regen everybody. 
Nice. I wonder if lightning will work against her. There we go. Okay, Kiraga it is. There we go, that's better. Okay, you shall attack, good sir. And Cecil attacks. Thundaga, please. Kiraga. Kiraga. See, we're getting back up there. Boom, everybody's out of the red zone. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, lightning works against her. Now we got Rubicant. Um, Ninja 2, Flood. Oh, shite. Kiraja, please. White Magic, Kiraja. Summon Shiva. There we go. Now we are back up. There we go. Flood is awesome. Go, Shiva! Get the ice! Ba -ba -ba. Yes, I love this music. This music is so awesome. Um, actually, we should do Shell as well. I think we did Shell. Um, let's see. Paste. Ridia, so she casts faster. Yep. There we go, now she's hasted. Blizzaga, Ninjutsu Flood. White Magic, the highest white magic for curing. Boom, back up. There it is, there it is. All four elemental lords in succession, done. The beast was slain. The beast was done. A whip crack went, to, went its whippet tail, and the beast was done. Master Zemus, please, one last chance. We have failed again. Farewell, Valiants. Okay, let's go back and save and sleep. Rematch! Achievement! Achievement unlocked. Achievement unlocked. Okay. Nope, damn it. If I could actually, you know, do what the hell I want to do. There we go. That is better. Do do ding! Yeah, yeah! Alrighty. Save it. And let's continue on, shall we? Surely let's, yes, continue. Giant Soldier, Black Magic, Quake. Attack, attack, attack. Attack. Aim. Boom. Quakey. There's a snake in my boot. We're doing that. We're doing that. A little Toy Story for you. Somebody poison the water hole. Howdy, partner. All right. Ah, uh, we almost made it there. Damn it. Um, we'll just shock everything, right? Uh, we'll do that. We'll have you attack. You, sir. Oh. Nope. You, sir. There we go. Shocky. It's shocking. <laughs> yes, I went there with that. It's shocking. A booyah. Oh! Holy hell. Okay. Let's try and hit you then. 
So he has a counter attack. All right. Full cure. There we go. Bam. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do it, Rydia. Damn, that was a good hit, too. He's still got lots of HP. Okay. Oh! Damn. Let's summon Rama. See what Rama's gonna do. Okay, he's back to full health. Okay, we're hurt. Come on, Rama. This thing's got a butt ton of HP. Oh, that's it, Rama? Come on. Finally! That was a lot of experience, though. Damn. Wow. Okay, Rydia and Edge. Alright, now we're here at the CPU of the Giant. So let's... Let's get everybody back up to full HP. Right? Rosa. Kusoya. Okay, I am back up to full HP. Items, Ether. Another Teridia. Two to myself. There we go. All right, let's do this. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. This is the core of the giant. It's CPU. Whoa. We have to destroy the defense node first because it can repair the CPU. All right, let's do it. Okay, which one's which? Defense node. Oh shoot. Um, shell, please. Oh, shoot. That's why. Um, protect, please. Right? Okay, defense node's done. Oh, I'm glad I put that on there. Woo! Alright, attack node. Um, summon... Ifrit. Right? Kiraja. Um, let's do regen too, just because. I like the regen. I like the regen. The gradually recovering HP. Oh. Oh! That hurt. Poor Cecil. Oh, shit. Okay, where is it? There we go. Summon. No, not. No, Rama. Rama's gonna do it. Rama's gonna do it. Hmm. I see. I see how this goes. Okay. Um, let's go with... Drain that. There we go. There we go. You attack. You attack. Okay. I mean, that drains some HP out of it. I'll take it. Okay. Attack node's done. Damn. Damn. Summon Mist Dragon, please. Life. Item. Phoenix down. There we go. Okay, back up. Back up. Thank you, Miss Breath. Alright. Some are watching, and yeah, she's still. <laughs> Uh, I love it. I love it. That's funny. Um, let's go with... Honestly, white. Shell, everybody. 
summon Shiva, please. Okay, let's do protect everybody. I'm gonna dispel your ass. You keep that up. Keep casting reflect on yourself. And diamond dust. See, that's the, that's the neat thing. Reflect does not protect against summons. Hmm. Imagine that. Dispel. Shit. Now you gotta attack. There we go. Dispelled. Dispelled. There we go. There we go. And you attack, good sir. Phoenix down. Kiraja. Black Thundar Thundaga. Let's try that. Let's try that. Ba -ba yes, that hurt him. That hurt it. Thundog on everybody. Kiraja. Shit. Damn it. Dispel. Please dispel before she gets off her spell. Nope. Shit. Okay. Okie dokie then. There it is. Ah. Oh. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Core is gone. Take that. Time to hydrate. All right. We stopped it. Why, you? How dare you destroy the giant? You! Do I know you? You have to look deep inside yourself. You have to realize who you really are. Stop it. You must wake up. Oof, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. What came over me? Why was I filled with so much hatred? You have returned to your true self. Now, do you remember your father's name? My father is Kluya. What? Then, that makes you Cecil's... You two are brothers. I have a brother. You were a puppet in Zemus's plan. He was manipulating you with his hypnotic powers. He chose you because you have the blood of Kluya, a Lunarian, coursing through your body. That made it easier for Zemus to control you, but to make you fight against your own flesh and blood. That's enough. I was fighting against my own brother? All this hate was against my own family? You're my... I wonder why you were chosen. It easily could have been me. We both have Lunarian blood. I was chosen because of the seeds of evil that lay inside me. Zemus saw that evil, and he helped it grow. Where are you going? To find Zemus. I have a score to settle. Wait. I too am Lunarian, just like Zemus. I will join you. Here we go. Goodbye, Cecil. Is this what you want, Cecil? 
Golbez is never coming back. You know that, right? Aren't you going to do anything? He's your brother! My brother. Yes! Oh, hello. We might be in trouble. We have to get out of here. Cecil. Come on, knucklehead. What are you doing? We need to find a way out. This way. Kane. Oh no, we're not falling for that again. We can talk later. Right now, we have to get out of here. Hurry! Run! Run! Florist! Run! Yeah, you still find her annoying. I mean, it's, it's alright. It's alright. It's not... Could be worse. Finally, I was able to return to my senses. I don't expect you to forgive me after all I've done. Of course we're not going to forgive you. The giant was practically your doing. Stop it. Rosa? It's not Kane's fault. You you saw how Zemus had control over Golbez. Golbez too? Golbez is Cecil's older brother. He was being manipulated by a Lunarian named Zemus who used their shared Lunarian blood to control him. Golbez and Fusoya went to the moon to destroy Zemus. Golbez is Cecil's brother? My brother! <laughs> then I too should follow them and give Zemus the payback he deserves. I hope you don't end up betraying us again. If that happens, you can kill me. Then I better go too. Besides, I want to give the Zemus guy a piece of my mind. Edge. Then it's decided. We go to the moon. Cecil. Rosa, Rydia, you two stay here. The three of us will go. I can't put you in any more danger. But Cecil, that's not fair. Please, you have to get off the lunar whale. Oh no, she's hurt. She's hurt. Ah! A little kid won't be much help anyway. Who are you calling a kid? And there goes Rydia. Just stay put, kid. Cecil. Kane, Edge. Let's go. Let's go. Mickey Ficky go. Here we go. Leaving the Earth and heading to the moon. But which one? Because there are two. Which moon shall we use? All right, we made it. Let's go. Let's go. Er Rosa. Get out of the way, Rosa. No, I'm not moving. You have to take me with you. Why are you doing this? Because I don't want us to be apart. I don't care what happens, as long as I'm with you. Rosa. I guess we have no choice. Well, aren't you the ladies' man? All right, Rosa. I'll protect you with my life. Yay! Hug and kiss. It worked! What? You? This is everyone's war, not just yours. Besides, I'm the only one who can summon creatures to help us. Rydia, you're right. This war is ours to fight together. Let's go. Mickey Ficky go. Yay, we made it. Let's hit save. Yay. And uh, back on the ship. First, let's rest in the beds. Good night. Do, do, ding. So, the next couple episodes of this game are probably going to be me kind of grinding and just talking to all y'all. I mean, honestly, honestly. 
because we need to level up to make sure we make it all the way through. <sighs> Big old yawn for me tonight. That's what it is. Okay, we made the giant of Babel. We made it back to the moon. Um, we are going to go here. We're going to get off the lunar whale. We get back on the falcon. And our happy butts are going to go here. We're going down. Sugar, we're going down. Here we go. We're going back down to Coco Smithy. All right, Coco, you got what I asked for? Huh? 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 It's ready. The Holy Sword Excalibur. Use it well. Woo! Yay! We got the Excalibur. We got the fancy sword. Time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. But damn, I'm all out of gum. It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. But damn, I'm all out of gum. Hail to the king, baby. I'm gonna work hard and become an even better smith than the master. The master's back to his old self. Okay, where's the dude who sells me shit? I have rekindled the love of smithing that I'd lost. Okay. So. Bro. Where's the dude who sells the shit? One of these guys is supposed to sell stuff. Oh, this is some bullshit. There he goes. Look what the master made. Yes. The shurikens. <laughs> the fumo shurikens are the best ones. They are bad ass. I'll pick up two of those. Millie. Millie. Millie, what are you doing? She's cute. She's up in the top of the cat tree. Okay. So that is that. So now let's exit the underworld again. We got what we came for from there. All right, let's go and to Mysidia. Oh, okay, she's just pawing at it. Okay. I was like, what the hell? She's pawing at it because she's trying to get comfy. Get comfy. All right, let's go back here into the Tower of Prayer. Cecil, please return safely. The boss sure is in a cranky mood when you're not around, Cecil. Please come back safe. The fate of the land and every living being rests in your hands. Please come back and visit us again, okay? Edward has been constantly praying for your safety. I never imagined this to happen. You've become a truly great paladin. I had faith in you all along. Good luck. I sure wish we could join you. Oh, I have faith in you, and I know Tella would too. I will pray for you on his behalf. Hell, I want to go with you guys. You better come back alive or else I'll kill you. Destiny has chosen you for the final battle. We shall pray for you. You must return to the moon and face your destiny. Search your feelings. Hey, what's going on, Mega? Welcome in, my friend. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, my friend. Um, how are you doing on this Friday evening? Are you doing well? I am doing eh. I'm super tired. I didn't sleep at all last night because my knee pain kept me up all night. Ugh. Hence the big ass yawn you just saw me do. You got to look down my throat and see my uvula. That little dangly thing in the back of your throat. Oh, really? Oh, man, dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you're not doing good. I hope it, it gets better. Um, oh, really? Oh, okay, now, okay, so, hold on, hold on, hold up, let's circle back, ha ha, ha ha, see what I did there, um, let's circle back, and is it just you being hard on yourself, had a horrible stream, or, um, 
was it uh, like you had a lot of hecklers in your stream or bots or something like that? Because if it's just us like being hard on ourselves, then okay. Like, I mean, I've only got two viewers right now and I've been going for an hour and 10 minutes. So, you know, th that could be considered a bad stream right now, but I'm not really picky. I'm just happy everybody's here watching me play one of my favorite games of all time. Oh, no, no. Attacky. Attacky! Attacky. Uh, side note, I like how Bell uses his training in the anime and verbal look about it. Okay, cool. Well, I mean, yeah, that's what Bell does. He, he trains a lot, right? Oh, the game kept crashing and stuff? Oh, dude, I'm sorry. I had that happen um, with a gas station simulator on my old computer. It kept crashing. So what I ended up doing is I, and I honestly, I got sick of it and I bought a new computer. <laughs> I know you can't, you can't do that, but, um, but yeah, that was kind of what I was dealing with there. Um, and yeah, uh, Acting King's right, man. Streaming at all is not a waste. It happens. Uh, I follow this really big streamer on Facebook Gaming called Creepy Horseman. He actually lives pretty close to where I am. Um, let's flip that. Okay, Edge, you're going up top. Rosa down there. You in the center. Kane on the bottom. That's how I like to do it. All right. Yeah, but like Acting King says, streaming at all is never a waste. Um, so what I was talking about with that guy, Creepy Horseman... He was streaming Gas Station Simulator as well, and it crashed on him, like, twice in the same stream. And he just booted it back up and went on. Like, nothing was wrong. He's like, oh, it crashed again. Oh, well. We'll just load back into it. I mean, I, I will have to agree with Acting King is that it's... No, okay, no, hold on, hold on. Did you lose all your saved data? There's mine blocks in a straight line for two hours. Wow. Okay, so you did Minecraft. Okay, side note too, I'm on FE Warriors and I have a level 70 MC while the rest are 40s. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's what happens when you grind them out, Acting King. Marie! Hi, honey. Welcome, baby. So, well, okay, so I know you're feeling bad, Mega, but look. Cat. Cat makes it all better. This is my favorite cat. This is Marie. She lets me pretty much do whatever I want. I hold her like, like I'm not holding her very well right now and she's crazy. Oh baby. Oh, I'm getting hugs. Oh, I'm getting hugs. Oh, she's hugging me. Honey. Oh, I love you. I love you, kitty. Oh, she is. She's a super tame cat. Oh, baby. Gave her kisses on the belly. Oh, yes. I love you, honey. Here, can I put you back down? Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Here you go. Yep, see? And just like that, boom, down. And she'll hang out here. right. In, she's right in front of me. You can't see because the, the camera is too high. But she's literally like, see, there's her tail. And she'll sit down, right, and just chill here with me. Right now, she's trying to figure out how to get behind my monitor so she can kind of hide and stalk. <laughs> Hi, baby. I love you. Oh, you're going to get in my lap? Oh, she's getting in my lap. That's your tail. That's your fluffy tail. Uh, mine shreds me to pieces. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Um, the My little one, <laughs> Millie, does that. She gets a lot of petting aggression. So when you pet her, she's purring and she's happy and she loves it, but she also bites you and claws you sometimes. And I'm like, will you grow out of that, please? So I just trimmed their claws yesterday because I got sick and tired of being clawed by her. I was like, I'm done. And let me, come here, give me your claws. <laughs> and so I cut her claws. Um, so there's two, uh, Mega, there's two with the skeleton. Um... Overlord and Skeleton Knight in another world. Overlord has been out longer than Skeleton Knight. Yeah, I did. Well, Marie, like, I picked her up and kind of sat her so her stomach was facing that way towards you guys. 
and just laid her in my lap, excuse me, like that, and I just trimmed her claws, and she didn't move at all. She just sat there and was like, okay, this is what we do. Now, Millie was different. She's getting more used to it, but she still was kind of like, eh. And I was like, dang it, cat, come here so I can trim your claws so you stop clawing me. Let's do summon Shiva. Is Bleach Hunter, Hunter x Hunter in one piece? Oh, okay, so then, Mega, are you excited for Bleach, the Thousand Year War, to come out? Hmm? Because I am. Bleach is actually one of my favorite animes, by the way. Like, absolute favorite. It's right up there with Fairy Tail and um, Outlaw Star. Oh, what am I doing? No attack. It's right up there with those two. I love those two a lot as well. Like, I can watch those two again and again and again. Of course I am. Yeah, I figured. I figured since you love Bleach so much that, that you are excited for it. I'm excited for it. Hi, Marie. Come here, baby. Hi, baby girl. Hi, sweetie. You gonna come down to my lap again? Here, let me move my hands up here, right? And my cords. There you go. Now you can curl up. Is that okay, baby? You gonna curl up in my lap? Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, this is the only cat that actually kind of lays in my lap. Millie has to lays next to me and Molly. She lays above me usually on the couch, on the back of the couch. Hi, honey. You gonna lay down? There you go, baby girl. Hold on. I need this. There you go. There you go, sweetie. You can lay down. Good girl. Did not read scans, waiting for video. Okay, so I didn't read the scans either. I have not watched any of the uh, Bleach, or read any of the Bleach manga. I have not read any of it at all. Um, the only Bleach I've seen is the actual, the movies and the TV show. And the series. That's all I've seen. Hit both those plates, restore ourselves, HP and MP. Let's go save outside the castle. Uh, so yeah, I'm waiting for it as well because I want to see what goes on. Now I've read some little like excerpts, not excerpts from it, but like synopsis kind of. So I kind of have somewhat of an idea, but I want to see where they take it. Oh, looky what we have here. What is this? Is this all of the crystals? The light and dark crystals, all eight. All eight crystals are here on the moon. Why? Can we talk to them? <gasps> we can. Powerful weapons that once posed a threat to Lunarians are sealed away in the core along with Zemus. The fall of the Tower of Babel broke the seal placed on Zemus. Now you may reach him. Ooh. Fusoya entered the core with Kluya's son some time ago. Containing Zemus' madness strains our power to the utmost. A tremendous energy field exists between Zemus and our people. We are the crystals of the moon. Ah, the crystals of the moon. You must head for the moon's core. And the last crystal. We shall guide you to the core. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Are you following me? I'd love to see you drop by and discuss someday. Let me check real quick, honestly. Hold on. Steam. There we go. Um, let's throw up Google Chrome real quick and go to Twitchy Twitch. Um, onto Twitch. Let's see if I am or not. Okay, um, Mega Lonio. Um, what is your, oh wait, no, I, I spelled that wrong. A, not an S. Oh, there it is. Okay, I, I searched, I, I didn't want to whisper, I wanted to search. Okay, hold on. I forgot how searching works. Mm 
There we go. You got uh, 44 followers and you're the, the black background with the red M. Uh, I'm going to assume that's you then. Well, hold on. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Done. Followed. Followed. All right. Back to the game. Yeah, man. I'll drop by one of these days and we'll, we'll, we'll discuss. I need to rewatch Bleach, man. But one thing I have to say about Bleach is all the intros. All the intro OPs are phenomenal. Every single one of them. There's not a bad intro OP for Bleach. At all. We shall guide you to the core. Hi, Marie. Oh, my kitty's in my lap. And she's just laying here being a good kitty. Oh, I love how they did this. That's so good. In the original, the screen just blinks between light and dark, light and dark, light and dark for all the, the different crystals. Oh, and this is my favorite music. You're welcome, man. You're welcome. Uh, you're welcome from me following. It's Because you follow me, man. So, you know... We'll follow each other and we'll help each other out as much as we can. That, that's what we do here in, the, in this Twitch community that we've got. Uh, some days I just want to stay in bed and watch my favorite animes. Dude, me too, man. Me too. Like, I, I want to do the same. It, it's, it's nuts. There's a lot of anime I want to watch and catch up on. Because I'm behind. But I'm like, ugh, get up. It sucks. Okay. I don't remember anything. Oh, crap. Jump you, do that, do that. Um, attack, black magic. Let's go with some Thundog on everybody. Shall we? Surely let's. Yes. Hi, baby. You gonna get back up here? Okay. You're getting down? All right, baby. I love you. Thanks for hanging out, Marie. Okay, I'll raid you anytime I can. You're a good show. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. And I'll, I'll do the same if you're streaming when I'm streaming and I get off before you. I'll raid you. Like, I raided my friend, Mr. Venicor, last night uh, because he was on. Um, and so I was, I was like, I was done. And I was like, hey, let me raid you, man. So I raided him. Um... And, you know, like that, I raid V-Babe sometimes if she's on when I'm on, you know. So I got no problems with raiding, raiding people if, uh, if they're on. Like, uh, Dylan's on right now doing Fall Guys, so when I, I finish, I'll probably raid him. Most likely, you know, give him, give him a raid and then leave him up for the rest of the night, you know, and lurk in the background. Okay, I got an eyelash that's poking me in the eye. This is not fun. Not cool, bro. Not cool. It's almost bad as getting punched in the balls. Which I've had that happen before. Not fun. Oh, there we go. Okay, ow. Nope, I was wrong. Not fixed. Oh, come on. Ah. All right, hopefully that'll work. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I got the eyelash out of my eye. That sucked. It was poking me in the eyeball. That hurt. I don't like it when they poke me in the eyeball. Aha! Okay, so I don't remember this much of this part of the game. I'm sorry if it looks like I'm fumbling finding my way because honestly, I do not remember much of it. Of this end part. Um, I remember some of it. I remember important pieces. I just don't remember some of the wandering around trying to get from place to place. So, yeah, I'm, I'm glad our streaming hours match, man. So, what I what I probably should do is I'll, I'll start hosting you if I see you come on and I'm at work. I'll just open the Twitch app real quick, pull you up, and then host you. That way you can at least get a host out of it. So, if anybody stops by my page, they'll see you. You know? Uh, I need to get on my Twitch page and kind of update the check out these streamers if I'm online thing and add a couple more streamers that I follow now. Because I haven't done that in a while and I think the only ones I got are V-Babe and uh, Dylan. I think that's all I'm, I'm showing. Oh, 
Ooh, go for it, Kane. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yes, Edge with the level up. We, you need it, Edge. Ugh, I love what they did with this game. This game looks so good now. It's so good. I can't wait till I play six. Oh, six. Final Fantasy six. Woo-wee! You want to talk about a game that's got some depth in it? That game. Dude. I might skip five and go straight to six just because I want to play six, honestly. Like, that might happen. What I really need to do is I really need to go back to two. Monsters. Oh, you guys. Pfft. I got you. Matter of fact, quake it. All right, you guys attack. And Kiraga, please. And there's the quake doing the massive damage. Thank you, Rydia, for the quake. It's almost like Quaker Oats. <laughs> ah, funny. I am so funny. Not really. I'm not really that funny. I'm sorry. I'm not. I got dad jokes. I got dad jokes all over the place. Um, okay, so you're not really knowledgeable on uh, Final Fantasy series, right? Except for you said 15. I, the only one I played is 15. I loved it. Okay. Okay, so... Um, if you like 15, try 10. Watch the, uh, sales in Steam and whatnot. Ooh, black garb, hell yeah. Um, yes. Defense goes up, all the defense stats go up in evasion, but attack goes down by a little, that's fine. I will take that trade off. Um, so like I said, if you like 15... Like, 15 super open world, right? Um, 13 is... Eh, eh. I mean, it has an open world element, but it's not till like, the third disc, right? So, you have that. But 13 is really great. Um, 7 Remake is, will play a lot like 15 for you. So, it'll be familiar. So, you... I would say if you want something that's familiar... Go to that immediately after 15, right? After you're completely done with 15. Go with that. Go to that. Because that's what's going to feel most familiar to you, the way the combat plays. Um, 12 can be good. It's when they started to kind of tinker around with the... Uh, I can't remember if this is the right way or not. I'm not sure. We'll find it. We'll figure it out. So, yeah. Take, um... Take 7 Remake, so it'll play a lot like 15, and it'll feel familiar to you, okay? So, with that being said, if you want something that's different, that you can kind of see where some of the mechanics that they put in 15 came about, I would say... 13 is different. There's... There is... You, interaction it's kind of turn-based but not really honestly because a lot of it's automated flame with Feridia and what I mean by that is go find somebody who's playing 13 and look and watch it and watch how the battles play and you'll see what I mean It's more about your roles in battle, and different combinations of roles give you different stat buffs and what, not stat buffs, different uh, actions you can take. You can also manually input actions, but usually it's better if you let it, the game choose for you, honestly. <clears throat> oh man, I need something to drink. So, with that being said, 13 I thought was really great. Um, I didn't finish it, though. I never did. I'm sadness. I never finished 7 either. The original 7. So, there's that. Um, let's do an Osmos from the Dark Sage. Let's heal back some of your MP, Rydia. Let's do that. Um, let's see. 10 is fantastic. I highly recommend playing Final Fantasy 10. 
Um, and I say that because it is the first one with full voice acting, right? Full voice acting, good, and I mean really good 3D graphics, not the polygon hell that 7 was. 8 was a little better. 9 was better than 8 as far as the polygon hell. Like, it was a lot more smoother edges. People actually had more of a face, right? It is 7 and 8, or 8 and 9 were better when it came to that. Um, no, this is the right way. So, I highly suggest checking out 10. Um, I say that because it's one of my favorites. And it just, it plays so well. Like, so damn well. You'll love 10. Is there a Final Fantasy like Chrono Trigger? No. Well, okay, no, hold on. Oh, in the gameplay. Yes, 10. 10. 7 original. 6 original. 5 and 4 original play a lot like Chrono Trigger. Because, uh, for okay, so I'm going to assume by the gameplay, because this is Final Fantasy IV when I'm playing right now. So as you see, it's turn-based, right? You select your your spells, your skills for everybody who play who each each round, right? Um, yeah, dude. Uh, oh yeah, ten is fantastic. I plan on playing it on stream, honestly. I do. I'm kind of working my way through all the Final Fantasies. So this is like a a long running series I'm going to have is Final Fantasy from Final Fantasy one, the original, the OG, all the way up through fifteen. Now, I'm going to skip 11 because 11 is online. It's still active to this day and it still has a, like a nice cult following. 11's good from what I've heard. I play Final Fantasy 14 actually. Um, I like it. I enjoy it. Um, I want to play it with some friends, but I really don't have many friends who play it. I have like some friends who play it. The guys I'm going to play with here in a little bit play it, but not to the extent that I would... that. Like, we're not on it every day because I stream a lot. Uh, 11 and 14 are are online. Yes, yeah, the online ones. 14 is actually really, really good. Um, especially the latest expansion, Endwalker, is fantastic from what I've heard from my friend who plays it. He says he loves it. Um, 10 is really good. It's where the series took a really good turn and it's really awesome. 8 and 9... Nine, you have to equip. E this is the basic thing behind nine, the mechanic, basic mechanic that I really don't like behind nine. But they implemented it. You have to equip equipment and wear it long enough through enough battles that you learn the abilities the equipment gives you, and then you can use those abilities whenever. But you, to even be able to use the abilities, you have to equip the piece of equipment first, and then memorize it. You kind of learn it and memorize it. Um, and then you can use it whenever, whenever you unequip it. Eight, what I don't like about eight is the magic system in eight. The magic system in eight is you have to draw magic from the monsters and enemies and you stock it up to a certain amount. You can number, you can stock of that magic. And then there's a number of max number of total spells. Each person can stock, right? So say they can stock 10 different spells. Well, then you have those 10 and you can freely swap them out. And then a certain number of those 10 that you can stock. Usually it's, I think, 100 if I remember correctly. Except for the status effect ones, it's 50 if I remember right. I could be wrong. Or you could draw straight from the monster and immediately cast it. You don't have to stock it. I did not like that at all. I thought that was a bad mechanic. But then again, that's just a, that's a personal preference. I like having it on tap, like we've got here. We've got it on tap, 100%. Uh, let's see, that's undead. Durago will probably take care of it. Let's scan it to make sure. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Okay, so you like the vulnerable to fire. Good. You like the uh, the um, uh, the mechanic in nine or eight? 
Because the one in nine, I'm pretty sure it would grow on me if I actually sat down and played it. I would learn to love it and be like, oh, yeah, I like how this goes, you know? Um, I know me, and I think I would actually love it if I sat down and actually played the game through. Um, nine is honestly one of the only Final Fantasies I've never played very much. I played very tiny of it. Um, and I haven't played any of 15, although I do own it. So I will get around to 15 at some point. Um, let's bio you. I don't like the weird dragon thingy there. It's the silver dragon. Um, the learn equipment thing. Okay, so you like nine's mechanic. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's good. Um, eight, I would say another, another mechanic in eight. The enemies... Yeah, 15 is more of like an ARPG, kind of like Diablo, the Diablo series, or Lost Ark, or Path of Exile, right? Or even Minecraft Dungeons, for Christ's sakes. It just looks a lot better, and there's more of an RPG element to it than all the previous ones I mentioned. Another mechanic in 8 is that all the monsters scale with your level, so you can never become overpowered, right? Like with this area I'm in here, if I sit here in this area and fight until I'm level 99, I will mop the floor with everything here. I will just rape face for a weird turn of phrase and term. Weird, I know. I, I will destroy everything easily, right? Um, so, you can't do that in 8. As you level up, the enemies level up as well, so it's always the same challenging battle every single time for every battle in the entire game. And a lot of people did not like that mechanic. Um, it keeps it challenging, but at the same time it makes the super hard bosses super freaking hard. Right? Like they are unbelievably hard. Dragon Helm on Kane. Oh. Um, so, like, those are not my favorites. Um, Final Fantasy 1, I, I love. I, the original, I think it's fantastic. Um, there is a big grind portion as you get towards the end of the game. You have to grind till about your 60, 62 for you to be able to win the final battle. Um, 3 is kind of the same way. But with the jobs, you have to grind certain jobs to the high enough level so that they become better. Because as you level up the job, the stat bonuses and increases for the, each individual job gains more and more, right? You have your normal levels and you have job levels. Regular levels increase basic stats. The job levels, when you do a certain job, it adjusts the stats to where the attributes are beneficial for that job. But then you have to level that job up to make it not better, more potent. That's the word I'm looking for, more potent. That's in three. Um, so, but three was fun. I had fun streaming three. If you want, go to my YouTube and check it out. My The link's on my, disc, on my Twitch page. Um, go to my YouTube, look for the Final Fantasy three uh, Pixel Remaster PC version. Look at that and tell me what you like about that because that, I had fun with that one. The job system reappears in Final Fantasy V, um, but they streamline some of the process. So with that, you do have job levels, right? But it's not so difficult to get job levels. Um, when I do five, you'll see what I mean. It's a little more streamlined. It's like they improved the job system for Final Fantasy 3. But the job system Final Fantasy 3 left a lot of customization for your party and what you could and could not do as far as what kind of party you wanted to make, right? Oh, shoot. That was a piece of dragon equipment, wasn't it? Uh, dragon mail. Yes. Okay. I don't know if anything... I don't know if anything will give me greater pleasure than Chrono Trigger. Um, I don't know. Honestly, that's going to be a personal preference for you as to if you like it more than Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger is one of my all-time favorites. I love it. Um, it is fantastic game. It is damn near perfect. Honestly, if I had to say so, it is literally damn near perfect. It is that damn good. 
Oh, hold on, let me tell my son it's time for bed. So I don't get attacked. Um, daughter, son. Oh, damn it. If I could type. Time it is. There we go. Okay. There we go. Boop. Okay. Um. So yeah, Chrono Trigger is damn near perfect. So if you bravely default, okay. Um. Bravely default is good. Very good. And I like the fact that you can kind of increase the difficulty and make it a little harder, or you can kind of put it down to normal and it'd be okay. Um, is Bravely Default like fantastically good? I don't know. I didn't beat that game. I have it. I need to play it. I just haven't, I haven't finished playing it. I need to beat that game. But it is a good game. I have Bravely Default 2. I have not played it yet because I want to be able to sit down and focus on it. And that's all I do is play that game. Um, I Am Setsuna has a has the tech system like Chrono Trigger. However, it's a little bit different. Um, I would suggest watching somebody play that first and see if that's something you'd want to not be... It's something you'd want to, to play. I own it as well. I never can sit down and just play it. But that's because me, I get distracted by other things. And I'm like, ooh, squirrel! You know? And that's just a shortcoming I have lately as I get older in my life. Okay, so I am down too far. I need to go back. Because I missed stuff. Uh, oh! Okay, you want to constrict me. Alright, let's do... Asuna on that, and let's go with... Ooh, let's play Zaga, both of you. You just know about the job system? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the job system in it is... It's decent, but I'm going off of a memory, and I haven't really played it that much, so I don't really remember um, a lot of that, because it's been so long since I played it, so I'm like, Ugh. Um, I will say... Final Fantasy VI is a very, very good Final Fantasy. Like, very good, right? We'll bio you. Nice. Alright, let's heal ourselves a little bit because we took a good hit there. Let's bio. Like, this one's very good. This is where they had the turning point in the series where you really honestly didn't have to grind hardly at all to play through the game and be able to beat it, right? Will you get everything? No. But can you play through like 95% of the game without grinding? Yes. Oh, excuse me. And this is Final Fantasy IV. So, VI is very, very good. I love VI. It is a favorite of mine. Um, I am excited to play it on stream. I really am. I think it's a very good game. Um, VI has a very big cult following. So, I would definitely say, if you want something that's really good... And has a fantastic story like Chrono Triggers. It has a fantastic story. Pick up six. Tens is a really great story too. But if you're going for the same realm of Chrono Trigger, I would say six. Oh, she's almost out of MP. We need to go back. Shoot. It's fine. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. I need to snag another black mage or whatever, or dark sage or whatever that monster is, and I need to suck MP out of it using Osmos. Hit me with that flamethrower, huh? Come on now, there we go. There we go. Mm, yep, back down here. Ooh! Oh, that's right, because that comes from the other direction. That's right, okay. Yeah, and there it is, Dark Sage. Thank you. 
Um, Kiraga, everybody, you attack, you attack. Black magic, Osmos, the Dark Sage, please. Yes, it's the one on the SNES. Well, this one was too, right? But FF6, yes, 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 yes. Um, one? What? Oh, damn. There I go. Osmos, please again. I'm gonna cure you. I started playing that, but never played more than one hour. Oh, dude. Oh, mega. 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 Do it. Do it. It is phenomenal. It is phenomenal. That game is amazing. Like, it is definitely worth it so much. Hold on. There's a kitty in a box back there. You can't really see her because it's... I need to turn lights on in this room, but... Okay, I'm going to leave this area because we are hurting. All right. So, thank you, Cecil, for covering. Actually, we got to be able to finish this battle up really quick. There it is. Oh, yeah. No, six is awesome. I'm serious. Six is awesome. Do it. Play it. You will enjoy it. If you enjoy Chrono Trigger, you'll enjoy 6, because both those came out around the same time. I think 6 was actually 1996, which was two years after Chrono Trigger, if I remember right. Because Chrono Trigger was 1994, I believe, if memory serves. So yes, definitely pick up 6 and play it. It is awesome. So good. Such a good game. I really, really like Six. Um, that's why I said I'm so excited to be playing it on stream soon. Okay, I am going to sit here and I'm going to save this. Um, I think, honestly, that's going to do it. It's getting dark. Flip a light on here. It's getting dark here. I got to put my son to bed soon. So, I think this is probably going to call it. But, yeah, you just want to... You just triggered heavy nostalgia in me. Dude, that's what I love these games. I'm trying to impart these onto my kids. I love these classic games. Like I said, I still have my Super Nintendo. It, it's sitting on the other side of this wall right here. It's sitting in the basement, which is, this is the stairs to the basement right here on the other side of this wall. And it's sitting down there. I need to get an HD capture card and hook it up and I could stream the OG. Oh, I have an SNES Classic Mini sitting right here. I love it. I love the... That's why I love this. When I see, saw they were doing the Pixel Remaster, I picked it up. I paid the 120 bucks for it because I was like, hell yes, all six original Final Fantasies for that low price and they're completely redone, music and everything. Yes, please. Sign me up, man. I just want to chill in front of retro games. Dude, me too, man. Me too. Thanks for streaming. No, you're good. You're good. Yes, you're welcome. Uh, Fortnite won't be good for... No, my kids don't play Fortnite, actually. None of them do. My daughter has no interest in it. I don't, really don't have an interest in it. Um, if I want to play something kind of like Fortnite, I'll play Overwatch, honestly. Because each map, there's an objective. Or I'll play some Destiny 2, getting some Iron Banner or some Crucible, you know? I'll do something like that if I want something like Fortnite. Um, you know, and I'll, I'll play some of those, but I don't play Fortnite at all. Um, and that's just kind of a personal thing. I, I just, the, the thing doesn't really sit well with me as far as the, the whole premise of the game. It's like, there's almost no story and it's just like, here you go. Keep shooting people. And I'm like, eh. so retro games is where it's at. Yes, man, it is. It's so much. My daughter's like, I want to play Final Fantasy. So I'm like, she's left, not here right now. She left. She went to go hang out with some friends. But tomorrow I'm going to sit her butt down in this chair right here in front of this computer and go, Final Fantasy VI, go. Actually, I might make her start on four on this one because I know this one like the back of my hand. I know everything with this. It's all up here. I've played this so much. Um... But yeah, she really wants to play these because she wants to know what it's all about. And her mother plays 10, like at least once a year. Her mother will pick up 10 again and run all the way through it. 
and beat the game and then put it back down again and won't pick it up for another year. So she's seen her mother play Final Fantasy X. She's seen me play Final Fantasy X and X-2. She sees me do this and she's like, yeah. So yeah, it'll be awesome, man. Oh yeah. Let me go. I need to go and put, uh, start getting ready to put my son to bed. Um, I got some dishes I got to do. I kind of got to straighten up my, my house looks kind of like crap. Um, I need to take some vitamin C because my science is starting to get clogged. I can feel it up here. So I might be coming down with cold. <laughs> I hope not, but you know, Anyway, yeah, definitely, man. Thank, thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, we're going to raid, hey, it's Prophecy. We're going to raid Dylan. So spread the love around. Hang out hang out with Dylan for a little bit, you know. Um, say hi to him. He is pushing for partner. He applied for partner. So we're going to do that. Um, and we're going to go for him. Oh, yeah, definitely, man. Yeah, definitely. Hold on. Let me save that again. Save. So as you see, file one, th that was me personally. Off stream. This is the on stream file. <laughs> and it's farther than the on stream file. <laughs> oh man. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and quit the game. All right. Uh, let me minimize that. Thankfully, I still have that open. We're going to raid. Hey, it's prophecy. And like I said, you know, please stick around, man. Uh, please join in the raid. Um, let's give him some love. He's pushing for, for partner. So, you know, I hope he gets it. He's a really nice guy. He's a friend. He's cool. And let's hit raid. Thanks for streaming, everybody. And y'all definitely take care. We're going to raid some prophecy. For only caught, I like.